As a graduate assistant, you might be running labs for undergraduates or maybe doing research um, on research teams on campus. And in many of those scenarios, uh, what that means is that as a GA, you'll be working closely with undergraduate students. So whether you're teaching the undergraduates, you're working as a teaching assistant, you're working with undergraduates on research projects as part of your GA responsibilities, um, because of these kinds of roles, you'll likely be called upon to mentor undergraduate students. And the bottom line is that being a GA will give you lots of different hats to wear at the same time graduate student, graduate assistant, researcher, mentor, um, and all of your off-campus responsibilities. As such, this can sometimes cause role strain or role conflict. Now, role strain just means what it sounds like. There's a strain within a single role that you occupy. So you might be a GA and you've been assigned some teaching assistant responsibilities and some research responsibilities both. This means that you're likely always trying to juggle the two, which may sometimes create a scheduling challenge. This is an example of possible role strain. Or you may experience something called role conflict, which means conflict between different roles that you occupy. So your role as a student certainly puts demand on your time and attention, but so does your role as a GA. Your teaching, your research, your mentorship, all these different roles put different expectations upon you, and as such, GAs sometimes feel real conflict. Which one is more important? How do I divide up my time? What do I prioritize when? So one of the things that is really important to recognize as a GA is to be able to name role strain and role conflict when you feel it. Because when you recognize it and realize it has a name and it's a normal part of GA life, it's easier to address the concerns, prioritize what's best for you, seek out assistance, and proceed. Really, all of this comes back to wellness. As a GA, it's even more important that you find and keep your balance. Between the 20 hours you work as a GA, um, the, uh, the hours you spend in your classwork and doing your own research and writing, um, it's incredibly important that you also find time to make wellness a priority. And I know that we all hear it all the time, but simple things like eating well, getting exercise, making sure you get sunlight and vitamin D, carving out some time to maintain your relationships and keep a strong social network, uh, carefully tending your finances, spending time doing things you love so that you're rejuvenated, um, and still somehow getting seven or eight hours of sleep a night, these are all part of your wellness plan. Invest in yourself and wellness will follow, and this will give you better energy, more focus, uh, clearer thinking, you'll be happier and ready to do the work you need to do as a GA, as a graduate student. Um, this is the foundation for success. At the end of this module, we'll link various specific resources UNLV offers to graduate students to support your wellness. But for now, I'd like to offer my tips for success as a GA. First, know what's expected of you. Ask questions to be sure that you understand your role and your responsibilities, and seek out the resources you need to be successful. Believe in yourself. Some of the work you're going to be doing will be new and challenging, but it will also be stimulating and exciting. It's a chance to be the professional that you want to be in your field. Collaborate with other graduate assistants. Seek out and offer near-peer mentorship. Who better to understand what you're going through and how best your GA uh, works and how to juggle things than those who are in similar roles. So lean on them and let others lean on you. Read the GA handbook and follow it. There's lots of helpful information in there, but if you don't know it, 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 you may be missing out. For example, did you know that your GA contract is only for an academic year and it excludes holidays and breaks? Or that your GA contract only requires up to 20 hours on average of work a week? And if you work uh, an additional job on campus or off, you first need to complete a form from your Grad Rebel Gateway and receive permission to do that outside work for up to 10 additional hours a week. Otherwise, there's no time left for you to do laundry, sleeping, eating, all the essentials that you need to do. 
So I'm going to stop here because there's more great info that's coming at you in upcoming modules. Let me just share with you how excited I am and how proud I am of you for getting one of these highly competitive GA positions here at UNLV. I'm grateful for all the good work you'll be doing and how you'll be contributing to our thriving scholarly community in the coming months. And of course, if you ever need anything or if I can be of help in any way, never hesitate to reach out.